What's up everybody, Sparrowwood again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers working again on our, uh, whatever this ship is going to be called, I don't really know. Um, I went ahead and took out the, uh, blocks here that were covering the batteries just so it had a more industrial feel, I think that'll look cool. Um, since we're going to probably have to seal up the outside anyway, which you might notice we're not sealed at the moment. I think I found my block, I found my corner block. And no, it's not this. Um, I tried to use this one, which doesn't look too bad. It's the um, floor and ceiling uh, block from whatever mod that is. And it's the flipped up version. I think that's supposed to be the ceiling. I don't know, to be honest. Um, but I tried that one. That one doesn't bad, look bad, but I like this one, I think. It's similar to, like, the default block, but it just looks a bit better to me. And it's actually something I never would have thought to do. And it's it's the grid here. It's this graded floor block. But instead of... Well, it's right there. That was anticlimactic. Wow. Instead of this, it's actually this. It's, ro it's rolled on its side. So... If I were to flip it back up, that's the the graded floor part we use, and then that's the side. So I actually think that works in terms of uniformity and everything for um, for what we're trying to do, and then it also matches the block already because it's the same one. So it kind of goes well with it. So I think I'm going to go with that one. If you guys have other options or ideas or something, let me know. I'm open. And we could place, you know, a grate or something else, but part of the problem is the direction of the grate that bothers me. Um, so, like, if we were to put just a grated floor on top there, it would do the same kind of thing, that it's only facing one direction, and I don't like that. So, unless anybody has, like, any, you know, big suggestions or something, we'll probably stick with this one. Oh, and I also have great news. Everyone in the comments from the last episode was, in fact, correct. The rotor was not on, which, you know, causes a problem when you're trying to make the thing spin. Let's try two. Yay! Spinning reactor! So, that's pretty awesome. Now, just for giggles, I kind of want to see what happens if we just crank the thing up. Oh, that's so cool! That's so cool. So that's like full power, is what I'd want it to be. I'd want it to be running at like full power when it does that. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh, I just thought of something really cool. I don't know why I said that like caboose. Um, light. Oh yeah. Ooh, we could do this. Let's clear, let's clear all this out. This is all just junk now from what I was working on. So there's this one. Whoa. Um, there's that one. Death Star wall lights. There's always the regular interior light. Um. Ooh, that one doesn't look bad. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. All right. It's like, uh, it's like a here we go around the mulberry bush. Ah, I think I got it. All right. So what I'm thinking, let's test this out here. Can I even put this here? Oh, I can't put it there. Darn, can I put it there? Oops. What did I just attach that to? <laughs> no, go, go away. So... This is too close, I guess. Dang. I wanted to put lights on it so it would light up while it spun. I thought that would be amazing. Ooh! That would have been really cool. Too bad that won't work. I really like that. That would look cool on it. Um, I'm surprised I can't attach it to that, though. Like, the, the reactor I kind of get, because you can see where the collision box is that, you know... 
it's got to be able to move around the thing. Now the question for me comes into play of... Um, actually, give me these ceiling lights. I have a feeling I'm going to use those. So now the question comes into play of... Ooh, got a little carried away. Of if this will actually spin while we're... Or while we have something down here, maybe? Um, so let's... Ooh, wait a minute. We could use glass. Or windows. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's not called glass. Um, let's see. How could we... S I, how could we spin this? No pun intended. Like, that's kind of a pun, I guess. Um, I'm gonna need slopes. And... Corners, at least. These other modded ones I'm not sure about. How I could use them. I don't know if I could use the round bubbles or not. That would be different. So let's see here. Because if I did this, there's nothing for it to like attach to, which means we'd have to attach it to things. But I don't know if I could do that all the way up. Like there. Or, over, like in this case, over here. Here? Wait. Yeah, so it would collide there. Hmm. Interesting. So I could actually put this. Let's just play around with this for a minute here. I'm, I'm not sure that we'll actually keep this. We'll probably end up doing like a couple directions or, or different ways on each side and seeing how they go. So we can see in. And I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure we can see in from the bottom too. Well, yeah, because this is all reflective. Okay, that makes sense. Um... We're also going to need the standard. Yeah. Oh. This, okay, so it didn't place one there. That's the only part I don't know about. Um, actually, let's get rid of this. Because we're not going to need them. Oh! Oh, crap! Dang it. Okay, hold on a minute. Alright, I did it okay. It's just this bottom row needs to change. Um. There we go. So let's do the row here. Let's get that squared away, and then we'll come back and do the rest of it. I'm doing this because I might want to change the floor down here, if this works. If this works... Oh my gosh, just go that way. Um, if this works, then I might want to change up the design a little bit. Of the flooring in here. Ooh! Ooh, it looks so cool. Oh, wait. Why can't I? That's not good. Okay, so that reminds me of the thing we kind of had going on before where we can't place anything down there. All right. Why can I never get these to go the way I want? 
Oh, okay. I was like, why is this not working? It's because I don't have this set up. I was like, <laughs> that was so confusing. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put these in play. Alright. And now, like, a disc. And that. And the other thing. Okay, so that's interesting. We're kind of encapsulating the the reactor, which if this works, it would be really cool. I think, anyway. Okay. And now this will maybe help us out a little bit with the inside because we're going to run into the same problem here of not being able to attach it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I'm about to be about to be brilliant. If we did instead of coming off of the bottom, if we came off of the top layer and attached it to the rotor. Wait, no, I... Uh, hold on. I don't know if that would work. Because that's going to spin. Hmm, let's see. Can I get down here ever? Please? Thank you. Okay, so let's add this to like 0.5. And now the biggest thing we got to see... Oh, the glass isn't moving. Perfect. All right. So this will get us around our collision problem. I think. Yes, it will. Because technically, as you can see, we're actually a block above by the reactor standards, like what it thinks is going on. Which is awesome! Now, the only thing with this is if you're really role-playing and you're really kind of like getting into it, this isn't gonna stop a reactor leak or anything like that, so that's kind of a thing. But I like it! I think this is cool as far as you're probably not going to get it much more sealed than this without some heavy duty changes. So I like that. That's pretty cool. As for the wall, like originally this was kind of cool, but if we can keep this bubble thing going on. We might not need these walls. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think on that front. Because it's also at a point now where if we do this and we keep with this design, I don't know what to do with these walls. Because obviously these are not, like, normal. Right? Like, that, that's, not, that's not good. These are just kind of here. But there's no way to connect them or... So, let me know what you guys think about that. I have an idea that I'd like to try, actually. Um, I'd like to kind of change a wall or something here and see if it works. Let's pick... Let's pick this side. It goes nowhere at the moment. Um... So what I'd like to do is use more of these. So let's see if I can do this. Hold on just a minute. Okay, so I've been experimenting with this a little bit. Um, I went ahead and put one of... where are they? These? No. These. The inverted ones out here for this one square. 
where um, it wouldn't work because of the rotor's collision box. So I put that there, and I've been experimenting with these walls over here, which is pretty cool. The one thing I don't know about is how to do the cornering. Now, you could always do the simplest solution of just continuing this, and then you get rid of this and you put another one here. I wanted to kind of use one of their blocks, but in order to do that, it would throw off the collisions. Like, if you did it like this, then there's still a gap here. And if I were to do like this on the inside, we would have a problem when we got over here to this window because I can't put a block there. Um, now, one thing we could do is instead of putting this here, no, that still wouldn't help us do this wall. So we probably won't be able to do one of these specialty corner blocks. I th Whoops. Um, I don't think. Because the, the mod pack has like this one. It also has the curve, which is pretty cool. And it also has one of these, which is also pretty cool. Uh, but it's designed to be in block, not on the outer edge. So for this one, we'll probably have to just do like this. That'll probably be our solution here. Uh, if we do like that. So that's kind of what I was thinking. And overall, I personally think I might enjoy this a little bit better than the yellowish looking color. I was trying to use like different mod packs and diversity, but I just overall, I like the feel of this, especially with the grid. It kind of gives you that uh, Death Star kind of feel, which is pretty cool. Ironically, this is not part of the Death Star mod pack thing. And then of course we could do lights like up here maybe under the, the vents or something. I don't know. We'll have to play around with that. I don't know how to do lighting in this. It'll have to be on the walls. Just because... Well... We don't have any ceiling to put lights on. So it's got to be on the walls. Um, but yeah. I definitely think I like this. Now the one... Thing I'm not sure about... Um, let's clear out another row here. The one thing I'm not sure about is if we can do some kind of railing. Uh, railing straight. Railing corner. Ooh, that might be interesting. Let's grab those. Catwalk single. Catwalk stair. We don't need stairs, I don't think. Half corner rail. We could try that. Railing only. Um... Now, the DT pack has a lot more intricate ones. But for now, let's just try some basic stuff. Handrail single. Um, let's just play around with some of these, because I want to see if we could do a railing instead of the wall, so that we can basically work with this corner just kind of ending here, because I don't like that. that that's that got to go. Um, let's get out of our own way. Again, the one problem is going to be that we're dealing with two blocks. So, like, I don't know that we'll be able to do an actual corner. But we could do something like this, which I kind of like. Um... What does this one look like? If I could ever get it over here. There we go. Ooh. Now that's interesting. Oh, we also need to take into account components and uh, materials. Oh. That's weird. Okay, that won't work though. I need like a normal rail. So this is more of the railing from the grav walks. I don't think I'm as big of a fan of that, though. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. There we go. I don't think I like that. Uh, this one might work, but I don't know how it will work with the corner. Eh. That's not terrible. Um, the corner is really going to be the deciding factor, I think, on how the corner will work with things. At the moment, I do think this one is kind of my reigning champion. Uh, I like this one. Now, let's see how this one looks. That's not bad either. It's interesting that it's glass with a reflective when that's see-through. I find that intriguing. So that's an option. Uh, what is eight? Okay, I don't like that one. So probably this one, which is steel tubes, interior plates, constructor components. This is a small steel tube and bulletproof glass. And this is plates, girders, I don't know. I'm gonna do... I think what it's gonna come down to... Hmm, I don't really know, to be honest. Like, that's kinda cool. We are gonna have to leave this as open, though. Just because of the collision situation, but I think I like that overall better. I can't tell about the railing. I do think I like the wall better. Let me know what you guys think. This just doesn't feel like it's going to keep you from falling over as much. It doesn't conceal the corner as much as this one does. I think, in my opinion. Um... This is the cheapest one, I think. I don't know. I think that's a bit... Oh, crap. I think that's a bit of a toss-up. In, in terms of cost. Um, what I'll probably do is let's put one as this. So we'll leave one this way. Ooh, that is kind of cool. It's interesting. I can't figure out what the glass is doing, though. The glass is being weird. Glass on glass just makes the things weird. So, yeah, I can't quite figure out which way I like it this better. But I definitely think I want to change to this structure here. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It isn't as colorful, I will admit that. Because at least you have contrast of a lighter color with the... Um, I still don't know why I can open the door and this stays pressurized. That's still... It's kind of baffling to me. Uh, what I want to do, though, is fix our glass down here. Should be right back there. <laughs> Where all the air is leaking out. Oops. Am I deleting the glass? No. Okay, here we go. Oh, this will be interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to work, actually. Um, okay. So we need to do this. And we can't do that one. We'll just go ahead and do this one. I think the uh, being in creative mode is taking over a bit. And I'm kind of just now building where I should be thinking about um, <laughs> like how it works and everything. Now the only bad part to this is that this isn't going to tie in to anything. And what I mean by that is up on the top one we had the rotor to tie into, but what I'm basically doing is kind of that whole place them out a block and then it'll work. Um, but it's not really like, I'm afraid if I break that 
now I'm not going to have anything to tie this into. Okay, let's test this out. If I get rid of all this... Right? Get rid of all that. I don't think there's anything that this is now connected to. So what I'm going to do is, hold on just a minute, I'm going to save it. Okay, so what I've done is I've saved it as it is right now. <sighs> and what we're going to try and do is, oh no, not that. I need something with a control panel. Here, we'll just use the cargo container. What I need is to convert this to a ship. And I really don't remember how to do that. Factions info? Convert to ship. So technically we should be able to move now. But we'll also have gravity affecting things. Theoretically, anyway. That's weird! Alright. Quick test. Test must be done. Give me two of these. And a quick control station. And we are going to test this out. Because I have a feeling this glass won't stay here. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong, actually. And we're gonna put one here so that we can stop. And then we're going to put a control station down to see if this glass moves. So we're, we're in a ship. Right? Ooh. Now if I move... Are we moving? Things are getting deleted. There it goes. There it goes. Everything fell apart. Ooh, the reactor fell apart. Why? Ooh, that's not good. Ugh. I knew I should have designed it as a ship. Alright, get rid of the gravity. So... What about the reactor came loose. Oh, it was because I attached the glass to the rotor head. I was afraid that was going to happen. It spun for some reason and didn't seem to have a problem, but it didn't in fact work. Dang it. Well, actually that looks kind of cool. It's like a crash rotor or a uh, reactor. So, that's something we got to work on. Um, but let me know what you guys think as far as if we should try and go this route with our walls. If we should continue to try and work on a glass dome type structure like this. In which case we'll probably have to do some redesigning of the glass dome itself in order to make everything work um, properly. And I'm still going to have a problem, I think with, um, unless I do the same thing on the bottom with it being suspended like that. Oh! What happened here? So this fell off for reasons. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's good to know. Apparently bad things happen when you fly a ship. Okay, so let me know what you guys think, and in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!